sometimes we have to suffer a little bit. Push yourself through it, push through it, push through it, but know your limitations. We can dig down deep, dig, 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 dig down deep inside of us and pull that, you know, that strength from within. But you have to know your limitations. your limitations we can dig down deep dig 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 down deep inside of us and pull that you know that strength from within but you have to know your limitations all right y'all have a great day god bless love peace chicken grease bye okay day two it is not even gonna lie y'all look at that six o'clock in the morning look at this shine swelfy okay um look at me i'm hot i worked out i did not do the full workout i'm telling you i'm sorry i ain't getting on the ground at no damn truck stops but i modified uh, because they want us to use heavy weights and I didn't break my dumbbells out of the um, truck on uh, the inside of the cab I had some uh, barbell weights uh, 10 pound weights um, There under the gearbox <clears throat> So I broke those out and I used those for the uh, chest rows bent over chest rows and for the overhead, you know um, I take one so then only one 10 pound but on the bend over chest rows anyway i got a video on the first half i used two of them on the second half i used one i did some modification but look at me i still i still got that sweat coming through like crazy okay look at my shine Woo, baby get your shine on yeah i feel good now let me tell you a little bit of something here hold on give me a second i want to get all this stickiness off my face here okay see the difference don't tell me i won't shining all right okay um whew. now i haven't done any exercise uh in a year maybe two i can't remember a year and a half something like that as far as workouts are concerned um a few weeks ago about three weeks ago i did try to start walking again um to help build up some of my stamina get my lungs pumping and my heart pumping you know oxygen in my lungs and my heart pumping and <clears throat> after the second day of working out i became very very ill my blood pressure went sky high i ended up in the emergency room not from exercise Getting all that fresh air and oxygen in my lungs, get my blood pumping, triggered um, an infection, a couple of infections that I had inside that I've been, that's been laying dormant because um, I haven't been moving. So my immune system was very weak, um, which is like a lot of us, okay? A lot of us drivers that are overweight, we're unhealthy. <clears throat> 
Now, as far as my health, as far as di uh, disease, I'm very healthy in that aspect. Like I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have diabetes. I don't have congestive heart failure, fluid, all that stuff. <clears throat> now, have I suffered with it? I've suffered with edema, which is swelling of the feet and legs. Um, when you're fluid, that's when your uh, uh, lymph nodes cannot pump your adrenals and clean out your, uh, your lymph system. That's why it's important to walk. I've been learning all of this. Um, it is very important to walk because of that. When you're walking, you're actually, your lymph, that's why we have them. That's, your lymphs actually pump like this and it pumps and it, uh, <clears throat> it cleans the toxins out of our bodies. And I'm not talking like hard metals and all that. I'm talking, it helps strengthen the immune system it, to help fight with allergies in the springtime and the fall. Um, and also to help fight colds, uh, viruses, uh, bacteria. And uh, along with along with the nutritional diet, though, we can't be eating out at McDonald's every day or sitting down in the restaurant eating uh, meatloaf and and French fries and steaks. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, with a loaf of bread. That's not what I'm talking about, because trust me, I love to eat. So I'm not saying, oh, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and you're bad. I'm not saying that at all. Okay, we all fight with that good and that evil. I've said this in videos before. We all fight with good and evil <clears throat> inside of us. I have to struggle every single day not to get that double Dave's bacon burger, whatever it's called, with the extra large french fry. Because my weaknesses is chocolate, french fries. <laughs> I love me some french fries, but I don't eat them anymore. I try to say I don't like the things I love because the things I love hurt me. <laughs> and you can take that how you want. <coughs> oh, this is feeling good getting all the oxygen in my lungs. It's literally cleaning my lungs out. I probably got three months worth of pollen down in there. Um, two years worth of pollen. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's okay. It's, it's cleaning it out. You get your, your oxygen down there in the lungs and all that sediment down in there, it starts pushing out. Your lungs start taking care of themselves. Your body starts functioning how it's supposed to function. Okay. To fight disease and virus. Um, the whole, anyway, I digress. The whole point of this video was to let you know um, Friday was the first day I started walking again. Friday, I was in Indianapolis at the Beach Body uh, Coaches Summit 2019, and it was a blast. I had some of the best people that got my back, and even though I was hurting, I pushed through um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, unfortunately, uh, I did go do the mass workout in the streets of Indianapolis. I walked down there, which was about a mile. Um, I did about 30 minutes of hardcore, uh, uh, hardcore, uh, you know, workout. Uh, I did not last the whole hour and a half because there were just like five or six different uh, super coaches up there at a time, about 15, 20 minutes segments, you know. Anyway, um, I had a great time, but... But I had to catch an Uber back uh, just for that mile because I exceeded my limitation. I cannot go past my own limit. I'm not killing myself to try to be healthy. That's not the whole point. You don't have to kill yourself. I pushed myself as far as I could push my feet from not standing on my feet for two years, not walking, not working out, not anything for over a year and a half. Um, I was starting out brand new, like where most of you guys are. I was starting out brand new. And to be honest, it, oh, I was hurting so bad. So I came back to my truck um, and I put my pajamas on. I made a big pile at the foot of my bed with pillows and blankets and everything. Um, 
my uh, laundry bag, the whole nine yards. I propped my feet up at an angle to get them over above my heart. And uh, when I laid on my side, uh, you know, I would lay like that for a while. But then when I switched to turn on my side, I'd wrap my blanket up into like a big old burrito. And I would put that between my knees to release the pressure off of my hips because my hips were hurting. My feet were hurting trying to build that muscle back up in between the toes and the, where the tendons and everything are. And my arch. OMG, like my poor little feet could not carry my 336 pounds. It just couldn't. But that's okay. You work your limitations. But okay, so that was Thursday, Friday. Saturday, um, I did not go to the training and, and go walk all over the town again. Um, but however, Saturday night, I did go to the closing ceremonies. So, you know, I had to, I still had to walk a little bit over there. It killed me, but I did it, right? Um, Sunday, I got to relax all morning. Well, Monday, yesterday, I started working out at 5.30 in the morning, getting up at 4.45 so I could be on the road by 7, right? Still have my breakfast and everything, do my pre-trip the whole nine yards before 7 when I hit the road. Well, yesterday, I felt good. Um, I was not super sore all day long. I was able to get out of the truck in the beginning. I was a little stiff, but after about 10 steps, you know, I felt good. My, you know, everything kind of settled in. Um, last night I really wanted to do a walk and then, uh, do some yoga stretches last night. However, I just, um, it wasn't in the forecast. I ended, I had a team meeting. And I needed to eat dinner, you know, you know how our life is over the road. So that wasn't happening. Um, but this morning I get up, oh, I could feel my inner thighs so bad, so bad. I could feel my inner thighs. So we got Thursday walking, Friday, all day walking, Saturday, eh, no. Nah. A little bit. I can't say no because I did at least a mile. It was a mile down to the super workout. Then I worked out. Lots of squats. Lots of like just, oh my gosh. Uh, I Yeah, I tore that up sweating my ass off. Okay. Um, so Saturday I did get a good workout in. I ain't even gonna lie. Sunday I did not. Sunday I didn't do anything other than drive. And I was so tired I could only drive about 250 miles and then I shut down for the night. <laughs> um, I was wore out from the weekend. Uh, yesterday, got my workout in. This morning, doing my workout. Yes, my inner thighs are tight as I'll get out. But it felt good when I got out there doing my warm-up and stretching. And the whole nine yards. And then, um, my whole point, I said all of that just to say this. When I finished my workout and I went to go take Coco a walk around the, um, the truck stop to cool down a little bit, I noticed my posture was more upright. My hips were more tucked under and my hips didn't hurt. I was walking like the first half of the walk. Of course, your muscles going to, you know, fatigue a little, you know, walking because that's the whole point that we're strengthening it up but I could feel the strength already in one, two, three, four, four days, four days of walking and working out three days of walking one day of working out. And then plus today, Oh my goodness. That was awesome. I, that was so mind blowing. I loved it. I was like, what? I feel like I did two years ago when I was climbing mountains. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to uh, check out my healthier truck in um, Instagram. I've got pictures up there when I climbed uh, 1,800 feet straight up elevation, two miles, switchbacks, two miles of switchbacks all the way up to Lookout, Lookout Point in Washington State. Lookout Rock. Look, yeah, look out rock or something like that. Um, it was awesome. It was wonderful. Just the feeling knowing, yes, even though I suffered the first few days, 
it was worth it. I could, I feel good. My lower back feels good. My hips, um, my hip wasn't grinding my left hip like it was all weekend. You know, sometimes we have to suffer a little bit. Push yourself through it, push through it, push through it, but know your limitations. We can dig down deep, dig, 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 dig down deep inside of us and pull that, you know, that strength from within, but you have to know your limitations. All right. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Love, peace, chicken grease. Bye.